travels have brought me to Savannah, Georgia and historic Fort Jackson just outside of the city of Savannah. And we're going to go in do a quick explore of this amazing early American protected fort along the coast of the eastern United States. There have been fortifications on this site since the American Revolutionary War in 1776. But it wasn't until 1808 that a more substantial masonry fort was built atop the earlier earthen one as part of the brand new United States coastal defenses and given the name Fort James Jackson. It's three miles east of downtown Savannah on the south bank of the river and its primary purpose was to protect the Port of Savannah. This looks like it might have ruined someone's day. The sign says it was a 10-inch Columbiad that exploded in 1861 in the presence of Robert E. Lee. These two look like they're mounted on naval gun carriages. The fort evolved during the 1800s, especially in the years leading up to the American Civil War. This is Big Red which recently completed a full restoration. When the Civil War broke out in 1861, the fort was occupied by units of the Confederate militia, who remained there until 1864, when Union General Sherman arrived in the region during his famous March to the Sea, and the Confederates fled. Let's go over the bridge, over the moat, and through the sally port. right there. Some, uh, some of the fittings for the drawbridge. Oh, look at this. Door let people in. There's a Union soldier. An example of a typical soldier's bunk. I know this weapon. It's a 1853 Enfield 58 caliber rifled musket. It's a replica, of course, and I have one just like it. And we're going to get a demonstration. The that I'll be firing for you is a reproduction of a model 1853 Enfield. This was the second most commonly used rifle over the course of the American Civil War. Soldiers soldier should be able to load and fire, and even with main shot, about uh, 20 seconds per shot. So that is a potential of three shots per minute. Charge cartridge. Jump ram. Ram cartridge. Fire. Shoulder arms. Ready. So all of that, once you're well trained, should only take you about 20 seconds or potential three shots a minute. This looks like a little mountain howitzer.
Very nicely polished, so obviously well taken care of. Looks like two more cannons up on the rampart. It looks like we're going to get a demonstration of the mountain howitzer. This is one of the artillery storerooms buried deep within the walls of the fort. That's the Savannah River, and any vessels coming up the river would make easy pickings for the fort's cannons. Now that's going to be a problem. Some of the inner areas of the fort Let's go down and take a look. Powder and projectile stores. What's in here? Looks like lanterns. And might be good to keep them away from the powder. These old forts are always fascinating. Filled with a warren of galleries and storage spaces deep within the earthen walls. This is a Civil War era mine or commonly called a torpedo. I'm going to guess that this is the quartermaster's office. More bunks. Back outside to the fort interior grounds. Here's their blacksmith shop, which would be an important part of the support system of the garrison here. There's a nice view east, down the Savannah River. Today, the fort has long been silent, as the threats that it was built to protect against have long faded into history. But it remains a fascinating place to visit and to imagine what life was like in a very different time. Out in the middle of the river there is a red buoy, marking the wreck site of the ironclad CSS Georgia, which was scuttled by her crew in December of 1864 to prevent her capture as the Union Army closed on the city of Savannah. Today, most of the wreck has been salvaged and not much remains on the riverbed. And someday, perhaps some of the artifacts from the Georgia will return to Savannah for display. Now we've just completed our visit and explore of Fort Jackson here in the Savannah River out of, outside of Savannah, Georgia. I'm going to give it a 8.75. I thought it was a really good, it's a fun thing. I always like doing that. What do you think, Karen? I think that's an accurate score. It was very nice. What was your score? 8.75. 8. I think she's copying me. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride.